U.S. stocks inched up on Monday, but managed to close at new highs for the year, ahead of potentially major market-moving factors this week that include inflation readings and the Federal Reserve's policy announcement. The Dow and S&P 500 rose about four-tenths of one percent each, while the Nasdaq added two-tenths. Market watchers increasingly believe the central bank is done with its interest rate hike cycle and could potentially cut rates in the first half of next year. Taves Asset Management CEO Phil Taves said that and lower yields on 10-year treasuries are contributing to the positive sentiment on Wall Street. So sometimes it's not what the good news is that causes a rally, but rather a lack of bad news. And I think that's where we are right now. Uh, certainly the fact that the Fed has been on hold and we hope that they stay on hold and that the 10 year and other rates have come in so considerably from the high of five on the 10 year, as an example, you know, the, the, the decrease in things like the 10 year is the equivalent over the past three weeks to the Fed lowering about 90 basis points. So it's a significant change, a significant kind of easing in the economy that creates an environment where stocks can drift higher. Investors will watch the consumer price index data due on Tuesday, which is expected to show headline inflation remaining unchanged in November. While on Wednesday, the producer price index comes out, along with the last interest rate decision of the year from the Federal Reserve. Stocks on the move included chipmaker Broadcom, which jumped 9% after Citigroup resumed coverage of the shares with a buy rating while Cigna soared 17% after it ended its takeover bid for rival Humana and announced a $10 billion share buyback plan. And Macy's surged 19% after an investor group made a nearly $6 billion offer to take the chain private, according to a source.